What's going on world? AJ here and today on AJ Tech, get yourself a beverage, sit back, relax, as we are going to be talking about Bluetooth. Let's get started. Bluetooth. Do you use it on a daily basis like I do? For example, with, hang on, hang on, Raycon Everyday Earbuds, pairing up with your iPhone 16 Pro Max, just recently upgraded. We'll talk about this here in just a little bit. Not on this episode, but on a separate episode, we'll do a dive into this phone. But Bluetooth, what is Bluetooth? Some might ask. Well, it is a short-range wireless technology standard used for exchanging data between fixed and mobile devices over short distances, creating personal area networks. PANS, if you will. PANS. Personal area networks. It operates in an industrial, scientific, and medical radio bands from 2.4... or sorry, 2.40... I want to get this right. <laughs> It operates in the industrial, scientific, and medical radio bands from 2.402 gigahertz to 2.48 gigahertz. Bluetooth is primarily used as an alternative to wire connections to exchange files between nearby portable devices and connect cell phones and music players with wireless headphones per Wikipedia. There you go. Actually, no, this is straight from, uh, from my search on the internet. Just kind of give you a little idea on what Bluetooth is, but for me, I know what Bluetooth is. It connects wireless things to another mobile device. Simple as that. But recently I noticed my desktop here does not have Bluetooth. So what do you do in that case? If you wanna use wireless connectivity to your computer, laptops typically will have it built in. But again, if it doesn't have it, what do you do? Simple, it gets you a Bluetooth device. This little thing right here plugs right into USB-C port. This is a 2.0 because it's black, easy to identify. So you just plug this in and it should be good to go. But let's dive a little bit further into it, shall we? Now, what product is this from? Well, I have the Amazon page pulled up here. This is it right here, as you can see on the screen. It is called the Ugreen. Oh my goodness, the pictures. Ugreen USB Bluetooth adapter 5.3 Bluetooth adapter for PC. Plug and play for Windows 11, 10, 8.1. If you're still using 8, stop. Just stop. Bluetooth receiver and transmitter for keyboard, mouse, headphones, speakers, printers, and so much more. And this is on sale actually currently. It's an Amazon choice. Okay, I was always good to go with the Amazon Choice brands. But there's just like so many varieties you can choose from. So what made me choose this? Well, pricing mainly because they're all gonna do the same thing. And it's on sale for 664, fairly cheap. Way cheaper than when I first bought one many years ago. I believe it was in 2006 when I was introduced to Bluetooth. And I had a Motorola Razor phone at the time and I wanted the pictures off my phone, but I had no way getting it to the computer. So I went to Staples and bought a $30 Bluetooth device that looks similar to this, but it was gray. $30. Why? It's 2006, Bluetooth was the in thing. Now you can pay $664 for it online on Amazon, please. I felt like it got robbed back in the day a little bit. But it did the job. It absolutely did the job. And you see the blue, latest Bluetooth 5.3 technology. Oh yeah, lower latency, lower energy technology, stable transmissions, connects to your devices, plug and play, sleek design, compact and portable, all that fun stuff. But it ain't going anywhere because my laptop has built in Bluetooth. 
This is the only device at home that does not have Bluetooth capabilities. We are about to put capabilities in the tower. Let's go. The device is now officially plugged in. We're gonna close this browser out because I don't need this right now. And it should, right down here on your taskbar down here, it says Bluetooth devices. If you see where my mouse is at, we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna go show Bluetooth devices. Drag this screen over here. And now, as you can see, I have the capabilities of adding the device, a Bluetooth device to this desktop. So this is how you will get to it. If you just click down here, you can find it down here, Bluetooth devices. You can go into your handy dandy search bar, type in Bluetooth. It'll be this one right here, Bluetooth and other device settings. Take it to the same page right here as well. This is where you can turn it on and off easy as that and now we're going to add and pair a device so taking notes because if y'all are at the office or something or whatever this is where you can go pair a bluetooth device take notes right here it says bluetooth audio devices mice keyboards phones pens controllers and more i'm going to select that all right i'm going to picking up my uh fitness watch there as you can see, I'm gonna open up my Raycons here. Put in my ears real quick. See if it picks these up. Hang on, I gotta turn off my Bluetooth on my phone here. Cause that's the primary. Show all devices. All right, now it's in pairing mode. There it is. Just popped up Raycon everyday earbuds. We're gonna click on those. It just told me in my earbuds that it's connected and you can see here your device is ready to go. Raycon Everyday Earbuds. I'm gonna go ahead and just click done. And as you can see down here, it's right down here where it says Raycon Everyday Earbuds, connected mic and audio, 100% battery life. And go into advanced properties. Uh, you can also remove device by clicking remove. If you wanna disconnect device, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna click disconnect. Now it's disconnected from my uh, device here of my Raycon ear Everyday Earbuds. So I'm gonna turn Bluetooth back on for this mobile device here. And let me find it here. Because I should be able to pair up my phone to this computer as well. Search here again. You select all devices. Again, it picked up the watch. I don't know what this is. This isn't mine. Don't be clicking on other people's Bluetooth stuff, please. Just weird. Okay, it's not finding the phone here. There is a, uh, hang on. Let's get out of this thing here. There is a phone link deal. So, yep, that's it right here. Phone link systems. So, we're going to open that up. This is where I discover why this computer didn't have uh, Bluetooth capabilities because I was trying to pair it with this thing. So, I have iPhone. So, I'm going to click on there gonna want me to scan this QR code. So basically you can just open up your camera on your phone, pick it up, click the link that it pops up on the camera. Wants me to pair device. I'm gonna go ahead and hit open on my phone because I have it already installed, I believe. Continue to pair, I'm gonna click continue. Looking to pair Bluetooth, got it right there. It'll pop up a code. I need a pair just to matches on your phone screen, of course. I click allow on my phone to allow this to pair to this desktop. I'm going to click continue down here. You're all set and paired. I'm going to click continue again. I'm going to just simply uh, open phone link when signed into Windows. We're not going to do that because I'm not going to use it. We're just going to click get started. So now my phone is now connected to my computer. As you can see right here, it's the name of my device, connected. I could do refresh to reconnect. I can do calls through here. I can do messages, notifications. I could clear out my notifications. And I believe, what is this here? 
Can I play music through here? Yeah, it gives you your notifications for your phone, any text messages or calls. Audio player is turned on. See if I can... Not 100% sure on a lot of this stuff here. It's just something I just discovered recently. So, but yeah, it's, uh, that's it. That's really all it is. It just allows you to get notifications and calls and stuff that you can do over here. I'm never going to use it, but I just thought it was cool and just wanted to just show you all the extra thing that you can do with uh, pairing up your phone to phone link here on this computer. I'm going to disconnect phone link real quick and just simply just remove my device because I'm not going to use it. I understand removing this device means I'm resetting phone link to the PC. Yep, we're just going to remove it because again, I'm not going to use this application at all for my phone. So but that's it. It is simply a plug and play device. If you have a machine at home that does not support Bluetooth, as in like a laptop or computer, you could buy yourself those little USB uh, Bluetooth receivers, plug it in, you're good to go. And you'll just have to go into your Bluetooth settings, simply just going into get this notification out of here. You could go to your taskbar, find the Bluetooth icon down here, or you can search for it in your search bar, handy dandy search bar. And just simply go to Bluetooth and other devices right here to get the settings here. And of course, if you've been there before, you know, if you click and search, it's going to populate a recent list. Again, operating on Windows 11. So I'm not 100% sure if 10 still does that because I haven't paid attention enough on that for <laughs> Windows 10. You know, I use Windows 10 at work all day long. So, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and take care.